Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon and welcome to another video. Actually, in today's video, we are going to count down top 6 digital board games, you know, you can simply add it on Steam and play and enjoy it with your friends. So, without any hesitation, let's dive to the video. Number 6. Paper Pirates. Board games where you never know who to trust can exceptionally fun. While Pepper Pirates is not specifically based on any one hidden role board game, it is one of the best you'll play. With one player owning and hosting the game, up to nine others can through their phone or computer. Everyone in play gets assigned a rank on the ship affecting how they contribute to the match. The first and last ranks have unique benefits to their position but also garner the most suspicion. Whatever player is the captain, when the game ends, is certain to win. As whether ghost or human, their side will succeed. This leads to question about whether a captain can be trusted regardless of whether they may seem openly suspicious. Alternatively, the story is always known to be human and should therefore be trustworthy. However, the story always loses. This can cause a constant change of ranks as players vote each other overboard. When someone is voted overboard, they may end up cruising one of their voters to become a ghost. The pirates thrown overboard then returns as a stowaway. This allows for the entire group to remain active for an entire match, a strength many games in the genre lack. The fact that Paper Pirates has overcome one of the greatest weaknesses of these games make it quite impressive. If you enjoy Secret Traitor titles or the games from Jackbox, you will love having this in your collection. Number 5 Hive. <laughs> Number 5 Hive. Yeah. Hive is a boardless game using hex title bugs as both game pieces and playing field. The game begins by choosing bug to place in a hive, which creates the board you'll play on. The game is to surrender the opposing queen. Every piece has its own movement to consider and you can place any bugs uh, you have left into play so long as they enter next to one of your other bugs. Due to the board depending on the placement of your you and your opponent's bugs hive is highly dynamic. Each placement or move you make can affect the outcome in wide sweeping and unexpected ways. For example, a spider must move exactly three spaces around other pieces, meaning you need careful placements and planning to keep it useful. Misplacing a bug or moving to disadvantageous position can spiral into a loss without you realizing it. Although it may sound intimidating, Hive has only a few mechanics to learn, but has plenty of space to expand your knowledge. The nature of Hive being one-on-one -on -one game can make it awkward for a game nights with more players, but with a digital version you can practice against a computer easily. Online play is also convenient letting you join a match without issue when you desire for insect-based fun rises. Number 4. A small World Interested in something with area control and worker placements? This is your entry. Small World sets competitive groups against one another in a place that is just too small for all of them. The gameplay revolves around claiming land by placing creatures. To win, you have to end the game with the most coins. They can be earned from holding land or through abilities and interactions. Traits and people combos are shuffled together, making for many unique fantasy races. As you consider your choice, you'll want to account for what bonus you receive from their trait and race. Alchemist dwarves will play very differently than peace-loving kobolds. Tough decisions are made tougher by the order of the shuffled creatures. Those at the end of the list cost you more than the one at the front, affecting your decisions as play goes on. Cost compounds further as the game goes on, as you will be choosing multiple fantasy races throughout the game. After some time, you'll find you can no longer effectively take control of land. This is when you will choose to let your race fall into decline. You still earn coins from them, but will then choose the next race you wish to control the following turn. Choices that were initially passed over can accumulate coins over time, causing them to become more appealing. Overall, the gameplay is easy to learn with plenty of opportunity for tactical choices. Number 3. 
Tabletop Simulator. If you love all things Tabletop, then you will adore Tabletop Simulator. This amazing work of art lets you create and play endless card and board games. With an extensive supply of community projects, many genres and games are one click away. The variety of content range from takes on major titles to indie published games. With a few assets and what's already present in Tabletop Sim, you can play the most common classics. Besides simple board games, card games feel great with a tactile feel to play. Whether you use a basic deck of 52 cards or recreate an entire TCG experience, shuffling, playing and drawing cards is the blast. The ability to move and manipulate anything the way you want to is incredible. Having such an interactive environment to play in with your friends helps give the feeling you are all at the same table. Number 2. Wingspan In terms of game genres, with a depth and a strategic opportunity, engine building games are a great choice. The replayable nature of these games lends to natural desire for mastery over time. You can adapt to many situations due to the random nature of the resources available for each match. With every playthrough creating a different course of events, engine builders are a perfect addition to your collection for long-term fun. In a digital games tutorial, Robin will show you the ropes of building an ideal menagerie of birds. Each match will consist of four rounds in which you take few turns in each round. It's important to ready yourself to claim bonus points and create a strong engine in the beginning of rounds. The first round you may take eight turns, which is simple terms is how many actions you can take. A strategy becomes rewarding when you can prepare many activated abilities to get the most out of each action you choose. The UI is easy to pick up even for newer players, managing your zones and looking at your various abilities or resources at hand can become tedious. But once, but once you know more of the birds and their features by heart, it gets much faster. There's plenty of room for beginners to try out engine building and for long time players to develop new strategies and plans for complete mastery. Number 1. Gloomhaven Gloomhaven took the world by storm, claiming exceptional love and adoring reviewers from its fans. It has grown significantly since its release in both popularity and ways to play with new expansions. If you love tabletop role-playing games, this will feel just like home. You take mercenary crews into dangerous scenarios and dungeons to extract gold, a classic adventuring pastime. In this digital version of the game, you can skip the setup and get right into the action. You might find the video game can be more punishing than its physical counterpart at times, but the many ways to play and automated gameplay make up for it. This gold edition of Gloomhaven also has plenty of content, like scenarios exclusive to the digital version. What would cost a mighty sum to replicate in expansions and add-ons required to match it? While the benefit of easy solo play is great, the online co-op is simple to use and great fun with friends. Just be sure you have access to VOIPs service like Discord for solid teamwork as you delve. While there is no built-in voice communication for adventures with friends, uh, the co-op play is great fun. The ability to play on your own at any time or pick up a game that you were playing with friends on your own gives it a lot of flexibility. If you are a dungeon master or TTRPG fan who like to adventure whenever you like, alone or with friends, then Gloom Heaven is a great purchase. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like it, you can just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. My name is Abudan. Thank you for watching the video. I see you in the next episode.